This video will follow our travels as we headed south back towards Lisbon. We left the Parador of Corius and headed south through the mountains of Galicia. Can you see the bottom of the gorge? Our first stop was the Parador of Pueblo de Sanabria, not far from the northeast corner of Portugal. Our Parador looked across the Rio Terra to the castle and the medieval old town. We were there on March 2nd, Duke's 70th birthday, so of course we celebrated. The next morning, we went into the center of town. We mailed postcards, bought bread, and explored the old streets. What's it say? It says, all the waves of his history have left their mark here. The Celtics, the name. The Los Suevos, the first organization of the monastery. Los Manrezaba Bays, their something. The Los Condes, the Counts, their impact. That's, yeah. And then this is uh, for the uh, pilgrims doing the walk, addressed to them. You too are each a wave of history. With your good works, memory of your passage. Yes, with the good works and memory of your passage, though, and the love of the... Or the love is the Camino? For the love of, in any case. Makes sense. I don't know. Love is the Camino. Oh, maybe different Camino, different path. Oh yes. Love is the path, not this path that they're walking, but it's the path to. That makes sense. Puebla de Sanabria is just 12 kilometers from Lago de Sanabria. It's the largest glacial lake in Spain. It's kind of cold. We're at a glacial lake whose name all of a sudden I'm forgetting. We're at uh, Lago de Sanabria. It's a bit windy and kind of cold, but it's still beautiful. I bet in the summer this place is very busy. I think it's too small for you. From the lake, we drove about 60 kilometers south to the Portuguese town of Braganza. We stayed at the Posada de Braganza.
This is the view of the castle of Braganza from our room at sunrise. There was a tree growing out of the breakfast room. You think we can get in, Duke? I hope so. All right, look at the ladder. Might be that something to go. Up there, you think? I think our assault should be a frontal assault right through the uh, over that low spot. Okay, I guess the other option would be to go in the front door over there. Oh, is there one? It's probably very deep. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to go check it out, huh? It's like the gates open. <laughs> you want to see if they have a senior discount? We're all going in, huh? Get four tickets? Four tickets, yes. On the brochure, it says this is the military museum from way back to <laughs> two different kinds of cannons, I guess, huh? You better not fall, huh? Be careful. I made it. From Braganza in Portugal, we drove southeast to the Spanish town of Zamora, where we stayed at the Parador. Oh, well, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. Seems good to me. Tour of our room here. There's the bathroom. With all our boxes. Might be a new record for the number of boxes. Duke always counts. to welcome us. We visited the Ethnographic Museum across the square from the Parador. From Zamora, we drove back into Portugal to Marvao. 
This gas station had Amazon drop boxes. At this roadside cafe, we stopped for a snack. I'm taking a video. What do you think? Of the, uh, of the view. Place. Of the place. It's okay. It's <laughs> in one magical valley. You've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So the, the guy said, what, that town over there is in Spain, right? Yes. Yeah. Right now. And this town here is in Portugal. It's like they just picked it up. It's just perfect. 
Yes, it's, it really is. After breakfast, we drove to Lisbon and returned our rental car. Ray and Linda got pre-flight COVID tests, and we had our last Portuguese custard tarts. After a wonderful two weeks traveling together, they boarded their plane. And Duke and I took a bus back to Spain to start the next phase of our trip.